this uh, to this next story. I want to talk a little bit of history. It's been 100 years since the Tulsa race massacre of 1921. A white mob poured into Greenwood, a neighborhood known at the time as Black Wall Street. Over 18 hours, they attacked residents and looted or burned more than a thousand homes, churches and stores. A conservative count estimates three dozen people were killed and it remains one of the worst incidents of racial violence in American history, which brings us to today. Black Wall Street was built by African American entrepreneurs and 100 years later, it has inspired a local African American couple to build their own neighborhood in Red, Ho Red Oak. Here's Damon Fernandez with the story of overcoming hardship. In the heart of Red Oak, Texas, you can see signs of change. New development is popping up. And in the middle of this movement, it's just so serene out here. Workers are making way for even more growth and opportunity. Hidden Creek Three Estates. Entrepreneurs Kendra and Dwayne Bryant are part of a renaissance happening in Red Oak. The former restaurateurs are now taking a leap into land development, transforming their 45-acre property near East Ovilla Road into a new subdivision they're calling Hidden Creek Three Estates. The chance for us to bring it in terms of quality to the southern sector. And within that, you will be able to have your own custom homes and just that whole experience of building from the ground up. The Bryans say this subdivision will include 40 custom homes, each sitting on a three quarter to one acre lot. There will be a two acre pond with lighting, seating and walking trails. The couple points to the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa race massacre and the destruction of that city's Greenwood neighborhood known as Black Wall Street as a motivator. They're calling their project significant, with African-American landowners working with a variety of minority investors, architects, and builders to create a community here in North Texas. I think it's going to be exciting for us and exciting for uh, the black community to see that this is being done by us, and it's going to be something of substance and quality. The Bryans believe with this development, they're building a road to more opportunities. When you bring that village back, it gives you an ex a, a sense of excitement that we can come together and do things. Future homeowners can begin picking out their lots here beginning June 26th. In Red Oak, I'm Damon Fernandez.